if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't look forward to it as much as I used to. Um, but that's just me being selfish. No, you want to see all those good horses coming out again and taking one another on. You know, the Thistle Crack coming back and running against Sizing John. You know, the Chasing Haydock will be will be something to look forward to. And you know, those champion hurdle horses and a lot of those horses that Willie Mullins had last year that, that didn't um, appear that were injured um, coming back to take one another on. That's what you look forward to. You look forward to those names coming back year after year and hopefully performing the way they have done in the past. My horse to follow this season would be Sutton Place of Gordon Elliott. He was a pretty smart hurdler last year. He pulled up at punches down, but I think he's a chaser in the making and I think there's plenty more to come from him. Trainers to follow, I always used to want to follow the trainers to give me lots of winners. That's not going to happen anymore, so I don't really care about them. Um, and the jockeys to follow, you know, obviously Harry Cobden was champion conditional last year. He'll you know, hopefully be able to, to keep improving and carry that on. James Bowen is a name that plenty of people are mentioning. I haven't really seen much of him ride. He's done pretty well in the pony races. So, um, you know, his, his older brother, Sean, is a pretty good rider. So if he's as good as him, he'll do all right.